What's up, Esting Nation? I've had the Asus VivaBook Flip for two weeks now, and I'm telling you, it is awesome. Physically, it's probably one of the most attractive convertibles that I've laid my hands on. I've gotten a couple of compliments while using it, and it really is nice. I can't stop admiring it. Kudos to Asus. I've been trying not to scratch it. I've been using it very carefully, but I did end up having a few scratches and I took some photos using a special macro lens and you can see I've had a few hairline scratches. The flip weighs 1.5 kilos and it, that's very lightweight. You can convert it to tablet mode by flipping the screen all the way to the back. You know, normal tablets, you can only swivel the screen a certain range of motion. But for a flip, you can swing it all the way back and this is what Intel calls a convertible. So on the plus side, you get a very powerful device. This is essentially a notebook, but on the downside, it's not as light as a tablet or one of those detachable devices where you can remove the screen and it turns into a tablet. What worries me with a convertible like this is that the hinge might become loose, but so far it's holding up, it seems solid, it's well made. Speaking of the 13.3 inch screen, it doesn't come with a protective coating, so it might be a good idea to invest in a screen protector, especially if you're gonna be using it in tablet mode a lot, just to be safe. Screen visibility is fair. I'd say it takes up to 30 degrees viewing angle before I'm bothered by the change in picture quality. I am a little bothered though by the reflections hitting the screen, especially when I'm using it behind a light source. And you can see that in the sample photo that I took comparing it with a regular desktop monitor and an LED television. It is quite reflective. And according to the product page, the screen uses a technology called True Vivid which reduces glare by 67%, but I don't know, you tell me. The Flip has a 10-point multi-touch screen that you can use simultaneously with the keyboard and with the mouse. And that's nice, especially when you're browsing, you can easily scroll through web pages, you can easily zoom in and zoom out. The touchpad is also multi-touch. It supports Windows 10 smart gestures that you can use to like quickly switch between apps and scroll and zoom. According to the website, the keyboard is supposed to be backlit, but that doesn't seem to be the case with the model that I have. The Flip doesn't have a removable battery. There are no moving parts. You don't have a CD, a DVD, or a Blu-ray drive. What you do get are a number of connectors. So you get a single USB 2.0 port, a SD card reader, you get a 3.5 audio port. You also have a very basic VGA web camera, which is good for making calls, but nothing else. At the bottom of the flip, you have two holes, which acts as vents for the speakers. It's not as loud as I was thinking it would be, probably because it's located at the bottom. I think the speaker should be placed at the front, but then again, you're gonna have to move all the components around, which might not be an easy task. Application performance is quite good. You get a 2.3 gigahertz i5 processor on the TP301UJ, which is what I have. The mid-range model has a core i3, while the entry-level model has a Celeron. You get four gigs of onboard memory, and it's expandable to eight gigs. If you're planning to upgrade memory, you may have to do this when you buy it or you may have to go back and have it installed professionally because there doesn't seem to be a way to easily install extra memory. Hard drive options, you got one terabyte and 500 gigs of SATA. The entry level model comes with 128 gigs of SSD but I'm not sure if you'd like that because it only has a Celeron processor. Cold booting takes 20 seconds to get to the desktop. I've run normal desktop applications like Microsoft Office, Chrome, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom. Memory use averages two gigs. With the way I use it, I usually go over three gigs I've never hit the 4 gig limit though. Let's talk a bit about gaming. Asus is well loved in the gaming community. They actually have a special brand for it called ROG or Republic of Gamers. If you haven't heard of it, they actually have products like cases and discrete graphics cards. So if there's anyone that can make gaming hardware, it's Asus. Casual gamers will be happy to hear that the flip comes with an NVIDIA GeForce 920M. It is an entry level DirectX 12 discrete graphics 
graphics card and it comes with 2 gigabytes of dedicated video memory that makes it powerful enough to run casual games like Dota and LOL. If you want to run modern games, I'm sure you'll be able to do that. However, you might be limited to running them at low to medium settings. So I tried installing a couple of games. I got 30 frames per sec from Dead Space by running it at the lowest settings. Watch Dogs, I got 28 frames at the lowest settings. Tomb Raider, I got 30 frames per sec at high settings. Crisis, I managed to get 20 frames per sec at medium settings. With LOL, I got 110 frames per sec at the highest settings. Dota 2, I got 40 frames at the high settings. I ran all of the games using the native resolution of 1366 by 768 pixels. I also tried running 3D Mark Benchmark and as expected, it performed poorly in Firestrike. I only got 3 to 4 frames per sec. Skydiver, I got 17 frames per sec, but with Cloudgate, which is the test that's normally used for notebooks, I managed to get 28 to 33 frames per sec, which is quite impressive. According to the ASUS website, you should be able to get 10 hours from the flip, but I've only managed to get 6 hours and 50 minutes using the default setup. I tried optimizing this by turning on the battery saving mode and lowering the screen brightness all the way down and I managed to squeeze as high as 8 hours and 50 minutes I think. And for the final test, I ran Tomb Raider 2013 and I only managed to get 1 hour and 50 minutes which is expected because Running 3D games uses a lot of resources, it puts a lot of stress on the machine, but it's not bad, you know, if you can get a full 10 hours from the flip, that would be insane. In the Philippines, the flip retails at 40,995 pesos, that's around $870. You can get it cheaper on Lazada at 39,499 pesos, and it comes with a free laptop bag from Asus. The TP301UA, which is the mid-range model, retails for 28,995 pesos. That's the one with the Core i3 CPU. And the entry-level model, which is the TP200SA, is gonna set you back by 22,995 pesos. So in conclusion, the Flip to me is a jack of all trades. It does a good job of balancing portability with power and battery life. You may not have a beast of a machine. In exchange, you get a very portable and good looking device that can handle most of your day-to-day -day tasks. So what do you guys think? If you have anything to say, leave them at the comments box below. If you found this video helpful, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next video.